I think I think like in the beginning, our main goal was like chaos. Let's just make it this was, crazy. That was a mandate. Yeah, yeah, that was like, that the first EP we put out was literally just straight noise. Yeah, we just we just try to be different, weird, and loud, and like really weirdos from way up north coming down to make ruckus and we kept that kind of we still have that but i think just over time we learned how to control that chaos and make it use and make it effective essentially yeah. Yeah. right around there cursing the, uh, i guess right from there cursing yeah you can just cut you were always on my heels when i couldn't find my feet essentially you'll take an idea like Dan had this synth part that I really liked for Power and Pity. And and I wrote like a song, but didn't have a chorus. And I was like, Dan, just like literally drag that into the song. Mm. And it just like, boom, or it was like perfect. yourself watching us anywhere it's just like CC's performance and then just like this wall of like contradicting like sounds mm. that you may not know what to do with but there's always something there to like hold on to or there not be like a beat but I think everyone walks out of there with an experience whether that be like they're happy to see it they're confused or like, <laughs> they're they, like they hated it they didn't like it at all but I think that's sort of the the point of our band is to challenge people's expectations as, as well. We'll challenge our own expectations. And our own. You were always at my heels when I could. That. Fuck, that sounds bad. That sounds real bad. <laughs> I think we've recently just sort of broke that barrier of like having different fans. I think people kind of get it now, <laughs> whether or not it's like yeah. watching CC or listening to our weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think the big change was it is that CC became CC. Their confidence was right. out. They weren't shelled in and angry and screaming. They were allowed to like express themselves. Yeah. And like that true honesty really translates really well to people. To see that vulnerability on stage and just to like, kind of be starstruck by it, and I think it's just like I, I think it's just like a bleeding heart. It's amazing. It's just like coming out, being yourself, and it just really translating well to the people who are watching it. So I think that kind of more so than just like the clothes that they were wearing. I think it was the whole embodiment and just like the confidence. Growing up associated as male, I, I mean, I, I had all like you know the classic, poorly adjusted young adult of being angry, um, abusing substances, and like usually just shutting down, not showing real emotion, but now like everybody should go to therapy at least once. And I think working through that with a professional and people that I'm comfortable with in a more intimate level, I think just really made me realize it's like I don't want to be a man. I don't, I really want to be a woman. I just have this weird gray area that I want to float in and really enjoy because there's both aspects of both aspects of both masculinity and femininity in my life and I'm not gonna give up either. Truly. But uh, Yeah, I think the best you could do is just be honest with yourself. I mean I think I was just so caught up with this is who I was 
bored as and this is who I'll die as. But that's not always the case. I mean, you can live your life as pretty much whoever you want to be. I think that's the most confident I'll ever be, especially having my three closest friends up there with me and not afraid of anything, really. I mean, there's nothing truly to be afraid of when I'm there. So I got the whole support system with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>